So welcome to Profile 3 TV and today I'm very excited to be talking about recruitment and business and everything else that's happening around us in the world at the moment. So Ellie, thank you very much for taking time out and, and talking to us today. Thank I'm going to hand over to you and let you introduce yourself and, and your business. So I'm Ellie Doyle and I own a talent solutions agency called Talent Hub based in Dublin city centre. Uh, we turned five at the, the start of this year. Um, I, I, I don't think any of us can even remember what the start of this year was now, can we? <laughs> um, so basically, we offer a range of solutions. We offer permanent recruitment, mm -hmm. a, a, very, a very standard uh, recruitment solution. We offer flexible talent solutions, which I think post the post-C19 world, we're going to see a, a huge increase. So that would be contracting uh, uh, te temporary temporary assignments and things such as nearshoring. Mm -hmm. um, we also offer some advisory services. So clients will often come to us um, to help them with workforce planning, um, uh, uh, org mapping, uh, market mapping. Mm -hmm. And then finally, literally a couple of weeks before this happened, we launched our new coaching business, mentoring and coaching, uh, which uh, has, has we didn't have a crystal ball, but it uh, has turned out to be, uh, you know, a really, really necessary uh, skill, uh, skill and service at the moment. So that's who we are. Incredible. And it's amazing, as you say, five years, never mind six months or five months. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> the changes that we went through. So. Oh, my goodness. I know. I know. And we, we so in and i suppose in the in the verticals that we recruit in and, and work in we we it's it's accelerated change so we work in uh, digital it e-commerce marketing all very disruptive industries so we were sort of always used to seeing something that overnight changes how a consumer does something whether that's booking a hotel or hiring a car or, or whatever that is, uh, 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 going from ringing a call center to suddenly chatbot or, or, or whatever. But I mean, I, I think what, what's obviously happened in the last um, two months is we're, it, it's, it's just going to be phenomenal, the change that we'll see. Amazing. I'm thinking, no, as you say, do you think because you're in the space that you're in and you're seeing this, are you have you been a little bit ahead of the curve in, in your business strategy? Oh, I don't know if I'd be so smug as to say ahead of the curve. I suppose we were more comfortable with it. Um, so, I mean, let's be honest, a lot of hiring has gone on temporary holds. There's a lot of uh, hiring freezes, recruitment freezes, no, no denying it. But I think... Uh, luckily for us because we worked in fairly innovative sectors or what i'd call innovative teams even within bricks and mortar sectors be they hospitality retail pharma or, or whatever um we were already quite comfortable and, and and i suppose not that phased about things such as this today i should have been up in lovely belfast with you but i'm not for obvious reasons so um, over the last, the last couple of months, we've nearly become educators uh, trying to say to clients, it's okay, you've got Teams or Zoom or you know, whatever digital platform uh, of choice you want to use, we, we can still make this work. So we, we probably haven't been as, uh, as, as um, destabilized as, as, as maybe other, other employees, as other professionals, but it's it's still a huge change, isn't it? Still a huge change. It's incredible. And, and, and have you found then that your company, you've had a pivot during COVID-19? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've just had to adapt really quickly um, to, you know, to giving clients what they need. So, for example, we, we would have been fairly heavily weighted towards permanent recruitment. Um, we still did a fair bit of contracting, but... Uh, you know, we, we obviously have to deliver what the client requests for, and a lot of that would have been permanent recruitment. Um, but now the client still has this requirement. There's still that gap that needs to be plugged, but they're nervous about headcount. They need more flexibility around headcount, around managing costs. Um, a lot of them don't know what their own P&L will look like a year from now. So we've had to so we've had to sort of guide them on. Well, you know, you, you can still do this, but you can do it via a contractor or a temp or by outsourcing it 
to our nearshoring partner in 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 Romania or, or whatever that is. So we've had to move really really fast. Um, but I, I I've actually been quite pleasantly surprised at how the market has reacted. I, I think people are, when when something is enforced on you as this has been, it tends to happen. People tend to adapt much quicker than if you were pitching it to them and saying, have you thought about this? Mm, not too sure. Whereas when it's, well, we have no choice. Okay, you move. That's incredible. I, I totally agree. I, I, we've, we've clients that would have been very uh, off, offline and focused maybe on a website and, and yeah. not had e-commerce. And as you say, we're, we're trying to explain the merits over, over time uh, about e-commerce and all it's sudden... unbelievable e-commerce <laughs> isn't it i mean we, we we would deal with a lot of retailers now at head office level not 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 in store um and some of them e-commerce was the kind of um nice to have 10 to 12 percent of turnover possibly um and you know a must have because certain people want it now it's a hundred percent of 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 turnover so now we're getting calls from businesses saying, can you, you know, I need someone to, uh, I need someone to sort our digital capabilities out because we've got all these orders and we were, we're struggling to fulfill them. So I think going forward, a huge uh, transition we're going to see is, is the whole digital transformation piece and people want to future proof their business that if something like this or, or a cyber attack or, or whatever it is happens again, that, they're 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 proactive as opposed to reactive. Totally right. Oh, it's incredible. And I, I see you know how things have changed. I'm thinking myself uh, today. You know, don't I can't remember the last time I had actually money in my hands. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> We're all contactless now, Karen. <laughs> you think of the banks. The banks have been for years, and even retailers have been mm. trying to push us this way because there's a cost and in uh, using money and all mm. of a sudden overnight we're afraid as consumers to touch it to want to touch it um, yeah. it's it's and um, it's uh talk about pushing us all towards a digital e-commerce and uh, and it's, it's pushing employers as well kieran towards f f much more flexibility so like two two small examples um a, a friend of mine who who's in a wheelchair all his life who's um i know has uh, has made career decisions based on can I get there when I get off Dublin bus and can, can I get on Dublin like, is it on a route that that will suit my requirements can I get there is there a lift is there and has 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 been forced to make decisions not based on the job he really wanted but the job that so he, he put a great post on Facebook recently saying so as it turns out uh, Mark likes to be right he says as it turns out we don't all need to go out like work arounds at half seven in the morning and hop on the same dart, the same bus, the same Lewis, battle through town, take our lunch break at a, you know, half 12 to two o'clock and then do the same thing in the evening. So I'm really hoping that, and, and, and another example, um, our current Minister for Health, Simon Harris, I had the pleasure of hearing his brother, Adam Harris, at the National Recruitment Federation conference, the annual conference in, just, just before this happened, I think late February, and he was just the most inspiring person. He's an advocate for autism. He has, uh, as I am, which is a, a not-for-profit business that does, does advocacy and educates uh, schools and workplaces around facilitating the huge amount of people that are on the spectrum in some way, shape or form. And one of the things, again, did he have a crystal ball? One of the things he talked about was, well, what if from a sensory point of view, a normal, I don't like that word, but a, a normal office environment doesn't work for you, but you are hands down the best person for that job. So I, I do actually feel hugely positive that people are going to start embracing change uh, and looking at, well, actually, when, when it was enforced, we did it. Yeah. So, you know, why wouldn't we do it? I wouldn't. And I, I, I totally agree. I think we're, we're both optimistic uh, people. At, uh, in the Definitely. Same and, and OK, we're in a very tough situation at the moment, but there are so many things that uh, we can change now that we see that we can do. Uh, so hopefully humanity, people, our governments and hopefully. businesses will, will use this opportunity to, to make those changes and, and improve uh, society as opposed to you know, us going through this and going back to, to normal as it was. Yeah. Uh, but Let's go back to better. 
Let's not go back to the old. Let's go back to better. I love it. I love it. And, and, and actually, then we were talking about uh, going back to better uh, and the talent hub itself. So, so what services or how do you go in and help a, a business? I suppose it, it all comes down to what does the client want? Um, you know, in, in, so it could be anything from uh, over the years, we've dealt with a lot of uh, prospective clients of, uh, say, state agencies like the IDA, it could be Enterprise Ireland, where they need, we provide an awful lot of insights, uh, a lot of talent mapping, a lot of, uh, you know, giving them a sense of what the market is like, because you can have the best product in the world. You can have the most phenomenal product you can have the most phenomenal idea if you can't get humans to deliver that you know there's no point so staffing or human capital or, or or call it what you want has to work in tandem with these great robotics this great automation so that's where and you can't automate that sort of expertise so that's where we come in is to you know is to advise those companies at that stage then obviously following from that um, good old fashioned recruitment, you know, I need a whatever. And um, obviously, there, you know, we have to go out and, 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 and deliver on that brief. Um, and we've done that really well. We've, we've, great, we've great success stories and case studies. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, and I think this is going to, we're going to see a huge surge here is the flexible talent solutions. Um, because very often, a business doesn't necessarily need that huge workforce on on their 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 payroll on their headcount. They need a project based solution, so uh, we can deliver that. And then it's not all about talent acquisition for us. It's about the retention and the development. And that was why we launched our coaching business because the cost of acquiring it's the same in 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 marketing speak. I'm sure the cost of acquiring a new customer is a if if there's no lifetime value in them, that suddenly that cost is accelerated. So it's the same with your employees. If 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 you if you don't retain them, if you don't develop them, it's very pricey to have to go and rehire. So yep, we provide all those uh, all those solutions to hopefully hopefully see lots of long term happy marriages. In a uh, employer employee sense. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And, and you know what? You know, if you came to me and talked to me about uh, uh, those things two months ago, I would have said, Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. Have a great cup of tea. But talk to me now. I want to actually talk to you. It's, it's um, I, I would have said, No way to, you know, just we're not ready for working from home. I'm thinking of ourselves. Yeah. Just I just couldn't understand. And we're, we're a digital business. And then I'm thinking, um, as you say, we, we need the team and need to see the guys and need to be in the long term. And you're talking about flexible. And, and now I'm thinking, yes, OK, uh, we can work from home. The flexible we need to be is. It works. Yeah, we need to be as creative as we can uh, for our own business model. So it's amazing back to the mindset. So. I know. I, th I think all our mindsets are changing now, though, aren't they? Okay. Everything that maybe we had as an unconscious bias, everything that we, we, we just, whether it was consciously or unconsciously, really believed in were suddenly forced to reevaluate and go is there a different way you yeah, know for, for sure and another thing that we we've seen a lot of changes uh, recently and i guess hopefully more going forward you're a founder of uh, leaders hub uh, oh, my passion project yes uh, <laughs> and women, obviously women in business uh, it's so important uh, to see and, and women leaders in business as well it's uh, uh, you know it's, it's very important so what, what's what's your well, I suppose um, I suppose it's just it is something I'm and, and my 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 co-founder, my business partner Lorraine. Uh, obviously, it's it's a female-led business, although we have a 50-50 gender split. Um, but there's, there's where do I start and how long have you got? Um, I'm just <laughs> I'm really passionate about women being given the given the same opportunities. Now, I'm very conscious. Um, of not being what's that phrase a champagne socialist in this part of the world we're doing okay there's much worse uh, worst case studies and stories from other parts of the world we're not doing too badly but we still have a long way to go so i suppose um like uh, there's there's reports there was a recent report um i read in sunday independent actually but it was a, a study by the university of wisconsin and it talked about how 
women in careers and particularly in STEM careers, which is the area Talent Hub primarily focuses on, um, the, 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 the decisions are being made at grassroots level. So, and I suppose as the mother of a son and a daughter, it's, it's, it's a personal, um, you know, it's, a, it's something that I feel personally as well as professionally, but uh, segregated schools so or single sex schools are impacting the decisions that girls and women are making. So example from Ireland, um, at Leaving Cert, I don't know if this is overall or just honours, but at Leaving Cert Physics, only 4% of the people sitting the exam, if anyone does actually get to sit it, um, are female, which is so wrong. When you think physics is one of the building blocks of so many STEM careers, only 4%, and, and, and that's shocking. So there's a big piece around how, how we how we sort of look at the education system businesses in general then uh, and i know you'd mentioned your, your new coaching service is there uh, a way that you're helping business at the moment or are you finding businesses are, are keen to get some coaching and help yeah yeah no no look i think we've all we're all in this together as everyone keeps saying hashtag all in this together and uh, we all have to give back that's so important i'm doing a, a friday news bulletin at the moment where i'm taking stories i'm trying to keep them from ireland because I, I think it's nice to share local stories a few from further afield but about some of the, the great stuff that local businesses are doing to give back and i suppose uh, one of the things that 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 we're doing is we're um we've offered our coaching services um on a complimentary basis um, so tim the amazing tim mccarthy who who uh, one of my business partners who, who runs our our talent of coaching uh, business um i mean he took ulster bank through the the financial crisis seven years ago he's been five times ceo so no better person to you know to 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 offer that sense of calm and and pragmatic solutions so we've been doing that uh, on a complimentary basis um and essentially we're just trying to be flexible we're trying to be flexible we're trying to say to the client okay tell me your problem we'll find a solution that works because we've worked together really well for years we want to work together in the future so I think everyone just has to be flexible and helpful. In this together, incredible. And do you think the business world and recruitment uh, are going to change going forward? Yeah, I think that was that, that was sort of on the cards and like re referencing what, what you mentioned earlier about did we have our finger on the pulse maybe a, a bit of an advantage be because of because the, the sectors we work in. But we could see that this was happening, but you just have to, you have to not fear us, you know. Um, you can't, your, all of our jobs will change, recruitment or non or other industries. Things will be automated. We'll still be needed. We'll just, I, I, I think, um, like a digital marketing executive or a digital marketing manager, which be a, a very run-of-the-mill role, talent hub uh, fills, didn't exist 20 years ago. So I think, I think, I think it's 48% of the jobs that will exist in 2040 haven't even been invented today that my children and your children will do. So of course it will change, huge disruption, absolutely huge disruption, but what won't change is our core competencies, you know, problem solving, collaborative skills, um, good communication skills, able to take direction, um, all, all those type of things. Mm -hmm. Incredible, and and the future then for for Talent Hub. Then how how are you going to tap into all this? I wish you'd asked me this two months ago. I'd have given, <laughs> I'd have given a much more um, polished and confident answer. Oh, uh, I mean, I look, I I I think we'll just keep we, we'll 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 stick with what we've been doing because we've been doing it really well. It's been very successful. It will probably just be a case of how it's delivered. Um, and of course there will be some bits that dial up and some bits that dial down but as I mentioned earlier it, it might just be a case that we still provide you know uh, the client with the same service just delivered whether it's you know even using platforms like Zoom to hire and to onboard and you know, and to manage on a on an ongoing basis. So I'd like to still think we'll be do, delivering our flexible talent solutions, our permanent recruitment solutions, our coaching and our advisory. 
just maybe not all from Marion Square anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's been amazing, amazing. So we look. We're not all that, not full time anyway. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll see how it all develops. And, and how can anyone who's interested in find out more about what you're doing and, and checking out your journey as you? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, um, or, yeah, or, or, um, or, and and we do we do apart from our our I mentioned our, our some of our, our, our offering complimentary services. From our coaching, uh, from our coaching arm, but we also deliver workshops uh, and various other services that if people want to avail of, they're very welcome to join in. We're delivering a lot of webinars, so if you just go to uh, talenthub.ie, everything is there. New new website coming in about two weeks, um, but the old one is still okay. And if anybody ever wants to get hold of myself, I'm very visible online. You can find me on LinkedIn. And yeah, I'm, I'm always interested in if, if someone needs some insights or just use me as a sounding board, that's absolutely fine. Amazing. Excellent. Thank you again for your time today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Karen. And I hope all okay up north. It is for sure. No, thank you. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out the links below this video and visit uh, Ellie and her team and check out what Talent Hub are doing. Uh, it's interesting to see how these companies, all of us, have to pivot and, uh, and how they're innovating as well. So do check them out. Say hello to Ellie online and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you again.